morning everybody. Over the last month we've all been so busy. Leading into the Christmas period, I believe it's only going to get worse from here on in. It was good to see all the issues raised by the South Bennett Regional Council at the local government conference got voted up at the conference and these will be taken up to a state or federal level now by all 77 councils. So how it works is if we take a, uh, an issue to the government, um, it's only coming from the South Bennett Regional Council, but for everyone listening, when we attend the conference, we have the option to put forward uh, several motions, which are then taken up and voted upon by the local government association. Then they can take that fight with the 77 councils straight to the governments and we can get a better outcome for the community. So it was good to see that that, that uh, all six that we took in got, got voted up and now we can uh, move forward with that. I've attended a lot of AGMs um, over the last month um, at Proston, Hoysville, Mergen and, um, and uh, for a lot of sporting clubs and associations. So what these guys do over the, over the next year um, is going to be you know, volunteers are dwindling and um, some positions haven't been filled on some of these uh, committees. So I urge anyone that has any time whatsoever to um, just reach out to your local uh, community organisations and assist where you can. Um, even, you know, even if you can give them an hour on a weekend or something, it's going to take the load off of those guys. Um, it, it has been great to attend uh, a lot of the school events for the end of year awards uh, and to see the talent that's coming out of those schools. I know I spoke last meeting about the Mergen State High School, <coughs> but at uh, Proston on last Thursday night there was um, one of the grade uh, tens that were leaving, one of the students picked up a guitar and uh, I believe he um, he was self-taught and uh, the song was uh, Tears, from Tears From Heaven he played and um, like it was unreal, like the, um, his version of that uh, and being self-taught, he, he deserves to be uh, on, the, on the stage somewhere so it would be interesting to see where he ends up, that young student. Um, it's great to see some repairs from the infrastructure team on Wilson's Road on the shoulders. There's been a lot of complaints um, from the roads in, in Division 5. Um, we're looking at trying to progress some of these and, um, and benefit and betterment some of the issues. I know Kangaroo Yard Road's an issue. Um, I get told several times a day. Uh, and the Coiner Dump is I believe that we're working on a solution for that as well which I probably receive about 10 phone calls a day in regards to that so I just want to point out that we are trying to, to work through things and there's uh, legislation and stuff that we have to follow so I believe we are working through that and should be come to a solution soon. Um, the BP Open Day I attended along with the Mayor and uh, it was good to see the CEO of Sunwater there and point out some issues and um, <coughs> some stuff to try and rectify some problems out there in the day use area at BP Dam. There was a lot of attendance there. Um, we had several, um, well, there was probably around 20 stalls from the water police, marine safety and the fisheries, the fireys and anything um, disaster board. Um, Disaster crew from the council were there as well, uh, which the kids love getting the, the bags and, and then the fireys fired up the hose and, and went them all down, so they love that as well. Um, recently we had a, which I believe was a tornado hit some areas in, in Moffatdale. I've been told that it wasn't a tornado, but I'm not clued up on all that. Uh, there was a lot of damage to many residents' property, uh, with one house completely destroyed and several large farm sheds and, and machinery inside with a lot of damage. So I've been working, uh, we had the council, uh, all the councillors attend the next morning and the mayor, uh, and we, we met a few of the people in the area, which was good. 
there's not much we could do straight away that next morning, but it was just good to see the, the moral support that, that people knew that the council were aware of it and um, that we could try and help them where we could. And uh, I've been working with the residents, uh, of the impacted residents, and I'll, I'll continue to work with those guys to achieve what outcomes they need to, whether it be with insurance companies or or um, places to stay and stuff like that while, while repairs are being done. So a short report, but um, a lot of the other councillors touched on stuff that we were all involved in, so I'll, I'll um, drop that as my report.